Right, I'd like to show you uh, just what we've got going on with the performance computer. So we're uh, currently on the ground at Aspen. Going to go ahead and set our departure runway to 33. Going to go to the perf page. Um, current weight's about 14,000 pounds. If we go to the takeoff page, it's going to populate uh, runway 33 in there, and the takeoff length, or the runway length, is 8,000. We'll just go ahead and throw in the winds. I don't know. Let's just say it's 310 at 20 knots. Go ahead and throw that in. It's going to tell us our headwind and crosswind component. So 17 knots headwind and 9 knots crosswind from our left. Uh, currently, I have everything completed except for the outside air temperature, which does not affect performance numbers right now. Uh, I'm still working on that. Should be out uh, a little bit. Just needs a little bit, little bit more time. I need to uh, check the tables and get some numbers for it. But everything else works so far. So Q and H. I don't know. Let's just say it's 30. Point one two. We'll go ahead and throw that in. It's going to give us our pressure altitude. It's Aspen, pretty high, 7,478 feet. Uh, runway slope right now. I'm not sure the game recognizes that there are slopes, so that's going to be not working until Microsoft figures that out. We're not sure yet. And you can also change the runway condition here, wet and dry, which will add a little bit on the takeoff. So we'll go ahead and run it dry, and now uh, we'll go to the next page. So currently, it's showing us a takeoff field length of 2,328 feet out of 8,000. It's plenty of room. This gives us our V-speeds. And we have a takeoff flap setting of 15. If we go ahead and change that to zero, you can see that our V-speeds went up and also our takeoff field length went up as well. If we want the anti-ice system on, it's going to bleed off a little air and uh, take off a little bit of power, so it's going to increase our distance a little bit. And if we went ahead and went to dry runway and went to wet, as you can see, uh, added a little bit as well. So we're at 3,700 feet there. If we turn that back off, back to 3,300 feet. So we can see, um, let's, let's do the worst case scenario. Anti-ice on, takeoff flaps are zero. It's going to be a wet runway. And let's go ahead and throw a tailwind on there. So what are we at right now? We're at 3,700 feet. Let's go ahead and do a 10 knot tailwind. So. 150 at 10. So we got a 9 knot tailwind right across them. Now we're at 4,612 feet. So uh, the way it's set up, tailwind 60 knots per knot of tailwind, headwind's 22 knots. So this is what I've got right now for the takeoff performance computer. Just a few more tweaks. Um, definitely the outside air temperature is going to have a, a big effect as well. So that'll be coming out shortly, but uh, just a sneak, pre uh, sneak preview of what I got going on.